Yeah, I mean, it's a big day. You know, you're going to be, like, uh, in the crowd. You're going to be nervous. You're going to be doing a little drinking. Like. Oh, I, well, definitely drinking. <laughs> like, for sure. That was Taste of Country's Evan Paul talking to Priscilla Block ahead of the 2023 CMA Awards. And her drinking confession is not one of the top five moments on this list. And I mean, no, she didn't really say anything we didn't already know about most artists in the audience. Dustin Lynch did, however. Well, we have to share a bathroom, so it's guys and girls, so it gets awkward. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> you know, I don't know if they've switched it up this year, but uh, in years past, it's like, hey, what's up, Carrie? I'm Billy Dukes, and we clarified afterward, all artists, men and women, share one big old bathroom backstage at the CMAs. That's just bananas. Thumbs up if you'd rather just hold it, and consider tapping the subscribe button for original country music news and analysis. Find time codes and jump ahead if you want to see Cody Johnson and more. But number five on this list of the top five things you missed from the CMA's pre-show involves Lainey Wilson. Last year, you remember, she brought her father Brian to the show after he had nearly died a few months prior. It was a super touching moment. This year, he'll join her mother in the audience. My daddy will be the only real cowboy in the crowd. <laughs> Dang, shots fired. Look for Lainey's boyfriend Devlin Duck Hodges on her arm on the red carpet. They're pretty serious and more or less live together, but he is not getting a free ride on the Entertainer of the Year nominee's coattails. I put him to work. Girl, <laughs> okay. I'm talking about... <laughs> what does he do? Uh, look, he's, he got a long list of things. I'm like, take the trash out, mow the yard, do something with the flower beds, <laughs> feed the dogs. What is he not so great at? Oh, my gosh. Honestly, oh. he's, he's, he's pretty good oh. at everything. There's every now, every now and then he's just a boy. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? He'll track mud all over the floor, but hey... I love it. You love him. Yep. He's a keeper? He's a keeper. Keeping him. Yep. Carly Pierce also spilled tea about her boyfriend, Taste of Country's Addison Hager. His name is B.C. Taylor, and he's her drummer. And y'all, how sweet is this? Lady A's Hillary Scott married the drummer. Casey Musgraves dated her drummer, and yeah, that didn't really work out all that well, but Hillary Scott, you guys. When did that love kind of blossom? Because y'all, I mean, he is a part of your band. Mm -hmm. So at what point did that go, oh, I think this might be more than friends? Probably longer than I want to admit. That's, um, fair. That's fair. For me, it never was something I voiced, but I had just like a really instant connection to him. Um, and it's really fun to get to share that world. That world is very different. Um, and it's nice to have somebody out there supporting you that gets it and is quite literally like the backbone of your every night <laughs> yeah is that fun or is there sometimes too too close i mean when we get in a fight everybody knows if we're not looking at each other on stage it's like oh there they go <laughs> stay away yeah, exactly <laughs> bc not on the red carpet with carly however they're not fighting she just wanted to do her own thing number two on this list involves jelly roll talking smack and number one involves luke bryant but a quick sidestep for ashley mcbride's hidden talent no, i really enjoy doing accents of all types um and uh, that sort of sounds a bit like Hugh Grant for some reason. Um, but um, what you just really difficult would be Australians, really, really hard. Um, Scottish, much harder than Irish. Irish is not hard at all. Um, but there, there are some, there are some uh, other accents that sound a little bit like Irish, but they're not. They're actually English. Um, so I just love doing any of them. Nope, didn't see that coming. At number three, it's Cody Johnson, who featured his bruised and bloodied hands on the cover of his new leather album. This picture was taken, he says, right after he got done castrating bulls on his ranch. And a man that works with his hands has to take care of his hands, right? Now, on that tip, what do you think about, like, if, if guys get manicures and pedicures, are you ever into that? No. Okay, you no. ever got one? No. Okay, all no. right, all right. You just... I'm not letting a man touch my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not doing it. Thumbs up if you agree with Cody. As promised, Jelly Roll at number two, but to understand that, you have to hear what singer and songwriter Hardy told Evan Paul was his biggest splurge. A bidet. Dude, I almost Changed got my life. one on Timu. Changed my life. But bidet, that wasn't a splurge, Hardy. Yes. Do better. Songwriter of the year multiple years in a row. Jelly Roll and Hardy are actually real good friends. Not sure if Jelly and Josh from Parmalee are good friends. We asked those boys about their celebrity crush, and he said, I like, I like Jelly Roll's wife. Well, that's going to be awkward at the next record label Christmas party. Finally, it's Luke Bryant, and apologies for our out-of-focus footage here. We dialed it in once the actual interview began, but for number one, Luke Bryant answering a very important question here at Taste of Country. What does country taste like? Fried pork chops in an iron skillet. 
Country smells like a, 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 a perm in a hair salon. Country smells like Luke Bryan. Oh, come on. I mean, can you think of a better answer? Comments below. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.